to shy uh, are we live? Yes, we are. Oh, there we are. We're live at the Welsh Autism Shows 2017. Um, we have uh, an artist here today called Chris, Chris Baker. Chris Baker. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Chris Baker. Now, I literally, before we went live, uh, was told that these these paintings have been drawn with one one pencil. None of these are pictures. And when I was told that, I've come out in, in goosebumps. I've actually become a bit emotional as well, if I'm honest, and I don't get emotional. But these are absolutely fantastic. Chris uh, is a little modest and uh, he's a bit shy to come on camera uh, and, and talk to us at the moment. But here's uh, Chris's mum, Sam. Hi, Hi, Sam. You okay? Yes, thank you. So can you give us a bit more of a background about Chris, how he got into art and, and what it does for him? Yeah, no worries at all. Chris has always been a creative child. When he was uh, very young, he used to draw, same as any other child, but nothing, nothing exceptional like this. Uh, but at the age of 14, the mainstream school system, shall we say, just wasn't, it wasn't fitting Chris. Um, this was eight years ago now, so still very little was known in the educational world about how to support a young person with Asperger's syndrome. So we took the brave step in removing him from school altogether because it was no good for his mental state at all. And he decided that he would take pencil and paper and teach himself to draw. Wow. And, and this is the result just within two years at the age of 16, by amazing fluke, Johnny Depp was one of the first he drew, as was the beautiful shiny R8, which is just on that bottom corner. So that was just two years after he started to teach himself to draw. And, and does he draw them from looking at something or is it completely uh, sort of uh, um, creative from scratch? Uh, it is created from scratch in the sense that he draws it from scratch. But um, Chris is more of a human photocopier. Okay. So he, his imagination to create isn't there. So if an image exists, he can replicate it. Wow. But Chris has the ability to actually do something more to it than just copy the, the picture that he's got. And this has led to him doing some work for some quite famous sports people because Chris has two passions in life. One is the Jacksons and their music. They've been his special subject since the age of seven. And in June of this year, he got to share his portrait of the Jackson Five with Michael's four brothers. Wow. And they were okay. so astounded by it that Marlon stopped the show in the motor point and told the whole arena about meeting this young boy with autism That's and how amazing. incredible wow. he was. Couldn't ask for a better promotion than that, no. could you? Yeah. No. Well, it certainly got uh, my, my, my senses going. It's making me a little bit emotional. But um, uh, if anybody wants to, to purchase uh, Chris's art, where can they get it from? Uh, Chris has a website. It's www.cjbart.com. Excellent. And if anybody wants to purchase it, you've got, what time is it, guys? Nearly three o'clock? We are nearly ten past three. You've got 50 more minutes to come down to the stadium. You can buy the £15. I am going home with one of these today. Uh, I need to choose which one. Uh, one. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, you. Chris, maybe next time, yeah? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks very much, guys. See you soon.